You know, I've mentioned that vertically polarized antennas bring in a lot of the atmospheric noise. ZS6BKW, which is not even resonant on this band. Now, my tuner could make it resonant. I know it really, really. But listen to that. Obviously. Ever if you are a computer guy, it's my recommendation, friend. Back to you. Vertical. And, and I will admit to you, oftentimes, I, I've, I've shown this in a video in the past, uh, that ZS6BKW antenna will actually beat the other antennas on 15 uh, meters. So don't, don't uh, shy away from trying one out on that band, even though it's not resonant there. Uh, ZS6BKWs are naturally resonant at the 29.6 range, uh, the FM portion of 10. They're also resonant on 12 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters and 40 meters. But with a tuner, they can work. I've used mine on 80, I've used it on 60, I've used it on 30, and I've used it on 15. Works just fine. So check this one out. That's the vertical. That's the ZS6 BKW. Not even tuned. There we go. Now that's with the antenna tuner. Sometimes, Frankie, so I Antenna tuner to back off. Antenna tuner on. Hey, Look at the noise floor. Now I'm going to go to the vertical. Okay, it's got a pretty good... Uh, I'm not getting what you said there, right? Pretty good signal off the vertical. Look at the noise floor. Okay, now back to ZS6BKW. Kicking in the tuner. There's him with the vertical. The weaker station. Here comes the ZS6. No tuner. And there it is with the tune. Almost midnight for him on uh, 14.253. I mean, <laughs> you see what I mean? I get lower noise floor and better signal. It's not always that way, okay? Admittedly, this is why I'm always telling my wife I, ha I cannot have too many antennas. But there is a trend where typically the ZS6 BKW wins. Because I think he just came back yesterday. Or now, just for before, grins, I'm going to switch over to the doublet, 160 meter doublet, 250 feet of wire fed in the middle with ladder line. More noise coming in because it, this frequency has got more gains, uh, more lobes of gain. Now we'll do a signal comparison. ZS6BKW. You can see it on the scope down there, the difference in the noise. Yeah, thank you, uh, my All right, there he is on the doublet. Uh, yes, it is. Oh. Very, very and there good. he is on the ZS6BKW. It's, it's just magnificent what that ZS6BKW does, <laughs> even on this band. You can see the difference, uh, my Doublet. Uh, you can be really pleased with the performance from your ZS6BKW. Oh, by the way, I've been hearing Jim, a W6LG. Back to the vertical. And, uh, sometimes on funky meters. Uh, not too frequently, but I have heard him. So I just want ZS6 to ZS6 BKW, you know, no tuner? Tuner. Not a lot of difference. The tuner, uh, it's about a 4 to 1 SWR. The tuner brings it down to a 1.2. And so naturally, when it's a little bit more resonant, you're going to get a little bit more noise because you get a little bit more gain. But you can see what I mean that the. That's good. That's the way that it's I mean, Look at that. Uh, the noise floor is Maggie relatively minimal. Is the same way. Very, very sharp lobe on the front. Compared to the so, vertical. Uh, it's uh, working very well on my 40 meter Yagi. And his signal goes down. I can get uh, the 15 ZS6 meter, uh, to with work, the tuner. Uh, the same way. We'll have to do some work on it, though. 
Anyway, very hot over here. And that is the double. We're in our summertime already, so anywhere from uh, noontime till about 7 p.m. It's very, very hot. Then at 6. The hottest part of the day is around 4 or 5 o'clock, which is right now. So uh, we're over. We're over 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, maybe 102, 103, something like that. So uh, <laughs> we have to put Double. up uh, with the summertime for uh, three, so four So you see all that gain month, at the expense so of the, the noise floor. And really, look at the meter. It's not moving much different. Uh, There's ZS6BKW. 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. About, uh, okay, so I don't think the strong sunrise. signal is going to come back, but that's that's what I wanted you to see, just uh, the differences between an, uh, horizontally polarized, vertically polarized, the amount of noise you're going to get, and sometimes the signal's not uh, even better on the vertical. Uh, that, that can vary according to how far out they are. Uh, verticals tend to be a lower angle of radiation, so they're good for DX. Uh, but I've got this uh, ZS6 BKW up high enough that for this band, it uh, should be plenty high to also yield a low takeoff angle. Okay, I just wanted to uh, jump in there with that one since I had shown you the ZS6 BKW earlier uh, before I used the tuner. So here we go. You, you know, that'll give you every angle to, to look at this. Again, the vertically polarized antennas are going to pull in more of that atmospheric noise. It's just, uh, it's just a natural uh, thing. All right. Hey, well, thanks for watching the video. And um, thank you to the Patreon team who make these videos possible. Um, and uh, I do really much appreciate those of you who joined the Patreon team to help me keep this type of content uh, coming to you. And uh, hey, if you would like the video, you know, press that uh, that thumbs up button, or as some people say, smash the thumbs up. Um, that helps me out. It lets me know that you like this type of content, and uh, so you know, lets me know that I should keep shooting these types of videos. And then, of course, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video, which uh, is usually once a week and sometimes twice a week. Okay, hey, take care. Thanks a lot for watching, and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.